A B tag helps you protect your beats online. If you're someone who wants to let people know who produced the beat and let people know that it's you who made the beat and it's dope branding as a producer. So make sure you create yourself an easy B tag so you have it. So you throw it on all your beats. Even if you make house music or hip hop music or whatever music you make, you can try and find a unique B tag that you can make and throw on there so that you can let people know who made the beat and brand yourself as a producer and also protect your beats if you're uploading them online like YouTube or BeatSource and the likes. If you're using services like BeatStars, you can actually upload your beat as like your beat files as they are and then you can also upload your tag and they put your tag all over your beat you don't have to do it manually that's really dope i'm gonna put a link down below to beat stars where you can sell beats if you sell your your beats online like on beat stars let me know down below in the comments i would love to know if you guys sell beats so recording a beat tag is super easy all you need is your smartphone you're probably watching this on a smartphone so you do have a phone um, if you do have a professional microphone like a, a, a normal mic or whatever you can use that if you will but in this video i'm gonna use a mobile phone to record and show you guys that you can use just the bare bone stuff in case you're just a producer that doesn't have a professional microphone but you make beats and you want to create a tag you can do this using your phone so you can make your own tag using your own voice and you can just say something like xd beats x dizzle music xd beats banging if you have someone around the house a brother a sister a mother or a girlfriend or a wife you can have them say something that you want them to say that you want in your b tag or a couple of phrases so that you can use those as your b tag just like this say it x dizzle music uh can you also say x dizzle beats is the shit x dizzle beats is the shit <laughs> and you know you want to create a lot of uh, variations so that you can play around with different ones and pick and choose which one you like and then you can import them into your DAW and see what you can do with them and that's what we're gonna do in this video now but first we're gonna need a beat so I'm gonna quickly cook up something it's gonna be really whack I'm not even gonna try really hard but it's just something to show you how you can place the beat in the time and everything and then we get it going so I'm just gonna cook up something random it's not really gonna be a mind-blowing beat but it's just gonna be something to use so that we can uh, I can show you how to make a beat tag So now we have our beat. Now time to import our audio that we created with the B tag. So I'm just gonna drag and drop it in there. And you can just say something like, XD beats, X dizzle music, XD beats banging. So I like this part here where I say XD beats banging right there so I'm just gonna chop that part and keep it just like that and then go to the other tags uh, can you also say X dizzle X dizzle music I like that one as well so I'm gonna chop that beats is the shit X dizzle beats is the shit I wanna change my grid to none and I wanna move this to like right there on where the beat starts like this xd beats banging xd beats banging xd beats banging okay so i might need to change this up so i'm just gonna play around with the time a little bit just to stretch it out 
So I'm going to bring it there. I'm going to stretch it out more like that. XD beats banging. Now that sounds much better. Send that to the mixer, add some EQ down here. XD beats banging. XD beats banging. XD beats banging. Yo, that sounds good. And another thing that I want to use is vocal synth. It's by Isotope. It's just to add some sauce and effects to the voice. I'm going to turn down the mix. XD beats banging. We can add this talk box. XD beats banging. And this CompuVox. XD beats banging. Okay, that's sounding good. And we're going to throw on some reverb. XD beats banging. And we're going to throw on some delay. Drop down the wit. XD beats banging. XD beats banging. So that sounds really nice. So we're going to keep that. I'm just going to mute that. And we're going to take this new one right here. And we're going to do the same thing. I already placed it there. x music. x music. x Beats is the shit. x Beats is the shit. So it's nice to have uh, various styles of tags so that you can see which one really catches on that people are going to like because you never know what people end up like catching on and what people will like. So it's nice to have maybe four or five versions of your tag. That'll be really dope. Like here, I just have three for just for this instance. I wanted to show you guys with a like a female vocal and a male vocal, but you can choose with whatever, whatever you have. If just the one is fine for you, it's totally fine. But now if you now want to save it as a file, what you can do is you can select, like if just make sure that my grid is good here, and uh, make sure that you're using a beat that you normally make that's in the speed that you normally work on. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to select a section like right here. Like maybe up until there, I'm just going to select that and I'm just going to solo just the tag only. And then I'm just going to render it out. Just export it out to a WAV file and I'm just going to say x beat tag and just save that and I can bring it back inside so there you see it it's already good so if I drag it back into the project x d beats bang it so I can move it to, where, to wherever I want. Like I can even drop it there. XD beats banging. So you see, I actually left a tail right there at the end so that I can let the reverb right out. So another thing you can also do is also to save it as a dry 
without uh, the effects in case you might want to change the effects in case you want to change up the effects so it's the same process but now you just solo the the, the audio and then just go to your mixer and just disable the effects so then it's just dry like this xd beats banging just like that without the effects and then you're good and i like that i recorded with the phone and the phone had a little bit of noise into it so it adds to you know the the grunginess of this b tag and the uniqueness of it because i didn't record it with like a professional mic so it sounds really nice and grungy and dirty and that's how i wanted it that's so that's kind of the advantage because if i wanted to make this uh add a little bit more dirty to it i would have used isotope vinyl to add like some dirt into this sound and that would have added some noise and some you know some really nice stuff don't judge this beat it was just for an example don't come for me i hope you enjoyed this video i'll see you guys in my next video make sure to drop this video a thumbs up and subscribe for more cuz xd beats banging oh snap where's the beat XD beats banging.